Welcome back to my channel. This is Robina. If you're new here, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Today we're going to be working on my five-year-old daughter's hair, doing a protective style for the week. Her hair is freshly co-washed and now I'm just going to oil it and moisturize it with our favorite moisturizer by Aunt Jackie and then we will start the styling process. If you want this oil recipe, comment down below or check out my previous video where I give the recipe. So usually for my daughter's hairstyle, I try to pick something really simple that will last for the whole week of her going to daycare. Just something simple because I don't want her to sit here too long and she doesn't like to sit too long although she is watching a movie during this time just to keep her distracted. But I do like to go on Pinterest and pick a style or I'll just kind of as I'm moisturizing her hair and seeing where the parts naturally fall. I will kind of think about what I want to do with her hair. Today I decided to go with a simple style that had one braid on the side, two in the back, and then three on the opposite side where there is more bulk. And it turned out really good with the three braids on the side. I actually did what I call a snake technique, which is where you braid one braid and then you put a clip on the end so you're not braiding to the tippy tippy end of the braid but instead you are connecting that braid to the next one so it creates kind of an M shaped braid or a snake shaped braid where it's um, got divots in it. It turned out really good. This is the first braid that I'm doing is here on the side and you'll see that with every braid that I do I um, don't go to the very end of the braid. I prefer not to braid to the end. I prefer to braid about an inch or two before I get to the end and put a rubber band on it and then just finger foil it so that it looks nice on the very tip of, of the braid but it's not um, going to be hard to take out. And then I did something very interesting too with the back two braids to make them look pretty cute. So it's Keep watching the video until the end and you'll see how it all turns out and then maybe you can try this style on your little girl. Aria's hair, she's got a 4A hair which is very similar to what mine was before I got my Wave Nuvo and that video is also in with my curly hair, on my curly hair playlist so if you want to see me get my Wave Nuvo and what my hair looks like now, go ahead and check out that curly hair playlist. What I'm going to do is, every time I do her hair, I'll post a video so that people can get ideas of how to do their little girl's hair and styling it for the week. Um, this is a really easy, simple style. It took about 20 minutes from start to finish, not including the washing part and the deep conditioning part of it. That was pre this hairstyle, but just sitting down, doing the hair was about 20 minutes from start to finish. And with every braid, like I said, with every braid, every row that I make with a comb, I will oil her scalp and take time to take care of her hair. So let me show you what I mean by that, by that snake braid. So I'm starting with this, this braid right here in the front. I'm going all the way down, and then before I get to the end of it, I'm going to clip it off.
do the second braid, I take the clip out and unravel the ends of the first braid just a tiny bit, as much as I think that I need to unravel. And then I start picking up the hair from the second section, going in the opposite direction of the first braid. So you end up with this cool M-shaped braid in the front where all of it is woven in together and then you just have one uh, braid that's hanging down on her face rather than having three braids hanging down on her face. Now she'll just have one on the left and one on the right hanging down. It makes for a pretty cool design. Comment down below if you've ever tried this type of style before on your hair or your little girl's hair. So here's that same technique again. I take the clip out, I unravel the hair just a tiny bit, and then I curve the hair into the third section so that it's a smooth transition. And um, as I'm braiding, I just wanna make sure that I am pulling the, not pulling, but not tugging onto her, but I'm pulling my fingers all the way through so that way the braid looks nice and neat once it's completed. This will really help with the end result. And I don't consider myself a master braider. I still consider myself a beginner because she's the only head that I ever braid on. When I do braids in my hair, it's usually to go under a wig, so it doesn't have to look nice and neat. It's going under a wig, nobody's gonna see it. It just needs to be a few plaits that are down for a protective style if I'm gonna be wearing a wig. And I normally do that during the winter months.
Okay, so this is what I did in the back. I divided it into two, moisturized it, and then I just started braiding down the back portions into two big chunky braids. This is the cool thing that I did for these braids. Rather than going to the ends of the braids, I just went to the nape of her neck, put a rubber band there, and then I used my uh, curl detangling brush to brush out the ends. So it makes this cool, like, kind of pom-pom looking thing at the end of her braid. And so I just call these pom-pom braids because they just look so adorable on a little girl and later on in the week if we want to we can put two bows in it you know two clips anything you can put things back there to sort of accent that area and it just looks adorable and she loves it i love to leave some of her hair out so that her curls show even though i'm braiding it and putting it in a perspective style i do like to leave a little bit of her hair out and this is a perfect style to do it i've done this on her hair many many times where I leave the ends out um, specifically in the summertime not in the winter time in the winter time I would probably braid it all the way to the end just to help protect her hair from the elements and uh, this is me on the very last braid on the opposite side I'm doing the same technique braiding all the way down and when I get to the nape of her neck I put a rubber band to tie it off and then I will comb through and use the um, detangling brush to make the hair that's left out. I also put some moisturizer on the hair that's left out too, along with the combing through and the detangling of it just to make it stand out. Her hair turned out so cute it's so sweet I just love it she's my only daughter so this is my chance to express my style combining with her style and here she is in the front and then here's the style from the back don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more videos like this